What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 1, Problem 1 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 10th edition, by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 1 is all about measurement, and in Problem 1, we are asked to find the circumference, surface area, and volume of Earth. And so for Part A, we are looking for the circumference, and we know that Earth is a sphere, and so the circumference of a sphere is equal to 2 times pi times the radius, and we are given the radius in the problem, and so this is equal to 2 times pi times 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters. But the problem asks for the circumference in kilometers, and so what we're going to do is do a unit conversion, and we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, and if you plug that into your calculator, you should get that the circumference is 4.00 times 10 to the fourth kilometers. And so that's about it for part A. And then if we move on to part B, we are asked to find the surface area. And so the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 times pi times r squared. And again, we can use the same radius that we used up here, and so that's 4 times pi times 6.37 times 10 to the 6th meters squared. And again, we need to do a unit conversion to kilometers because that's what the problem asks for. And so we have, again, 1,000 meters in one kilometer. And in order for these units to work, since this is going to be meters squared, we're going to have to square this entire quantity. And that will result in kilometers squared as we are asked for. And so if you plug that into your calculator, you should find that the surface area is equal to 5.10 times 10 to the 8th kilometers squared. And so now that's it for part B. And then if we move on to part C, we are asked to find the volume of Earth. And so the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. And so again, we just need to plug in the radius. And so this is going to be equal to 4 thirds times pi times 6.37 times 10 to the 6th meters cubed. And again, we're going to do a unit conversion. Same one as the last two parts, 1,000 meters in one kilometer, and in order for the units to work out, we need to cube this. And so then if you plug that into your calculator, you'll find that the volume is equal to 1.08 times 10 to the 12th kilometers cubed. And so those are your three final answers for parts A, B, and C. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions about something I did or you have an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.